Dun dun dun, this is Uncle Al here, and it's Hoarder Series number 16. And, uh, but we'll do a little spiel just for the one or two people that are listening. So, I went to my Cabela's yesterday, and I usually talk to some of the people. Usually not the guys in the fishing department, because they're pretty snobby. And, uh, they only, well, they know probably I buy all the 88 cent stuff. But they said the Cabela stores are going to stay the same name, so all the existing Cabela's. And the Cabela's brand hunting stuff, they make camouflage stuff, they make fanny packs, they make sleeping bags. I think they make pants. And then they carry some other off-brands too. So all that's going to stay Cabela's in the Cabela stores. And all the fishing stuff is going to revert over to Bass Pro. So that's going to be interesting to see if they're going to clearance out the Cabela's branded uh, stuff. Which I they already ran the jig curly tails and stuff like that 25% off. I've already seen some returns on Bass Pro poles to a few Cabela's so I don't know if you could return stuff that's Bass Pro to Cabela's yet but I have seen a few odds and ends in the bargain cave that were returns so it's going to be interesting because if they get rid of all the Cabela's stuff fishing related that's gonna they're going to steeply discount that and that's good news for me because like I need anymore but so we'll get on with the hoarder show but that's just an interesting fact so i think the store is going to stay cabela's but the fishing is all going to be bass pro stuff which is going to be good to a certain point and i hope they carry more of the mr crappie line oh yeah that's an interesting thing i've seen in the ad they had mr crappie advertised and in both of my cabela's there's not one Mr. Crappie product to be... Well, I found glow sticks in one of my Cabela's that were Mr. Crappie. So it's just interesting tidbit. Who knows if it's going to come to fruition. Like I said, it's not a CEO or anything Give me this info. But, yeah. Alright. So, this skipped a hoarder series a while ago. But, got some Bass Pro Cure. Stuff works pretty good. Um, I like tying jigs, so and this stuff's pretty pricey, 88 cents. This color right here usually works on the walleye and the pike. So early spring, I usually make a spinner, a spinner, and I put this on there, and that actually caught me my first pike, so I was happy. Uh, this stuff, 88 cents, might as well, 88 cents, oh yeah, this stuff's pretty pricey, and, uh, it's 88 cents, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool, but not much in the hoarder series, like I say, we got our hours cut down, and, uh, we're trying, trying to budget, but, you know, I'll eat a can of beans just to buy some jigs, so, you know me. Uh, Uncle L's out.